Hey, hey, YouTube, I'm here tonight just to show you a quick tutorial on how to basically to take your Firefox browser and take it from drab to chic. Alright, now for today's tutorial, what you're going to need is you're going to need um, Firefox. Alright, now as you can see here, I've already done mine. Um, this guide is on setting up a basic speed dial for your Firefox. Now what this will do, it will increase the efficiency of your home page, meaning you can store all of your most visited websites and you can also categorize them. As you can see here, I have a number of categories and as you can see, I can even hold even more. All right. As you can see, I have favorite, I have blogging, anime, business, web tools, health, local websites social media and so on now to get this all set up all you need is a simple tool that is referred to as a speed dial now the speed dial is everything that you're seeing here now the first one that you're seeing here is my home dial and as you can see i have all the major website that i use the most now what does this mean is that my home page is way more efficient instead of just storing one home page i have a total of nine and if I count every sub category, I can basically put all of my pages and categorize them. All right. So how do I get this set up? Now, first thing you need to do is to have Firefox, of course. Now, by default, Firefox will seem uh, just plain. So what you can do to actually add these elements, starting with the speed dial, is to actually add a simple add-on called course speed dial all right so you'd go to this website as you can see here all right it's called um, speed that's s-p-e-e-d d-i-a-l dot u w works dot net all right once you're there you come down here to download all right you allow it to load then what you do basically is you download the current version which is this version here once it's saved to your computer, you install it and restart Firefox. And then you'll be presented with a blank dial showing all your websites. Now, you must be wondering now, how is it going to look at default? Now, by default, you're going to realize that none of the backgrounds or the dials will be customized as you see here. You'll have to fill them in and you'll only have one main dial. And you won't have any other groups like mine here, like the favorites, the blogging, the anime, alright? So what you'd have to do is add them in manually. Alright, let's start with how you actually add um, elements to the dials, alright? So simply, alright, I'm going to create a dial here. All right. So let's pretend, because mine is already done, that you start. You should see a page like this, alright? So this will be your starting dial. Now, in case there's something in a dial that you want to um, clear, just over the mouse over it, right click and you should see the clear option. It's not here now. But um, to add an element, just click on the empty space that you see here. Just um, left click, and right? you'll get an address. So you type in something like www.google.com and you press OK. And once you press OK, it should load the preview all right see here we have google next you we'll click on another dial by left clicking you see the box come up and you can put in something like yahoo.com all right now if you want to put a custom image and you don't want the image to load just click make custom image and you can browse for an image that you want the logo of the website to be in the preview right but if you don't want that and you want it to be custom as the web pages just uncheck that all right um you can also tell it to never refresh so once it loads the initial image it will not refresh but if you want it to be dynamic and you want it to change as website change change to periodically all right all right so once that is done 
Oh, and also if your website supports Java elements and it's not displaying well in the preview, just simply click on the enable Java, but by default you can leave this open and only enable this for websites that you trust. All right? So once all the elements are OK, you press OK. And you'll continue to populate your dials similarly by adding the, the, the websites to all the dials. Right? Now, after a while, you can realize that all the dials will become populated. Now, in case you have a dial that has in something that you want to get rid of, okay, you know, it's just coming up. All right? What you simply do is to um, right click on a dial and click on clear in case you made a mistake or you could simply edit it to change the address or any of the settings from before see and adjust them as you like you can even add a custom title for example you don't want this to be called google up here and change it there all right and just press on the ok button all right you must be wondering how do i get the background here for example how do i get these pretty backgrounds into the, the background here all right that's so simple all you have to do is just Place the cursor up on the selected dial. So, right, you um, right click and you click um, Edit Group. Now, once you're in Edit Group, you select Additional Styles and Options. That's right here. And once you select Additional Styles and Options, you choose Use Background Image and you check that box. You click on Browse and then you search for a appropriate wallpaper that you have pre-selected all right i'm going to use um this one right here all right can even preview it all right I'm going to use that so i click on open press on ok and i press ok again ah as you can see the background has changed all right now um simply you'll notice that all these dials are different colors to edit the color simply Place the cursor here again and simply um, right click, click on edit group once more and then now you'll notice that it says text color, you can leave that as black, make sure you check this box says use custom color and the background color now simply click on the preview window here for the color, this window will come up and you adjust the sliders and you can see the preview there until you find a desired color, All right. if you want it to be green, you can come over here if you want it to be lighter shade and this is the brightness all right so you adjust it all right say this is the color that i want simply press ok as you notice here the color has changed at the dial so you can make your dials different colors you could also even change the name of the dial or the title that you see it's called group and it's the 11 group so don't worry you know, i'm gonna call it um um, okay. One. All right. Press OK. As you see here, it's changed to Home One. All right. In case you want um, any appropriate stuff like backgrounds, um, I recommend that you go to the best website for wallpapers on the internet. It be um, um, alphacoders.com. You can Google it. I'll put a link to the description, and you can see the full article on my blog where I actually um, give you all of these links all right so back to the speed dial so as you see now we have already learned um, how to add the background how to add in elements into the dials and how to clear them and to change the color of the tab and rename the tab now um, to add an additional tab all you have to do now for example if this was your first tab and you need another one you place cursor up here and you right click and you say add group all right you can name the group all right and then now of course you can do go in one go and change the color if you want to all right and you press ok now you look over here you have a new dial now until you specify the background image you can realize that it's going to be color of the dial so if you want to use a color just don't specify a background image all right so all right so if you have just started out this would leave you with uh, just two dials for you to customize all right now this speed dial is very useful you can keep all your favorite websites um, as soon as you log in um, you can actually go to the pages that you want for example 
you could even it's so convenient that you could open all of your websites in one go by now right click right and open all in new tabs and all the, the tabs all none of them would open more in individual windows right if you don't like a group you can simply remove the group or if you want to rearrange order you can go down to organize group you can move the tabs around move them up or move them down very simple all right now um trust me this is one of the best dials it's better than the default dial um and trust me after you start using this for a while you'll get so used to it that you'll never want to use anything less now um just some closing remarks um in case you want to refresh a dial without going into the menu and changing it in case it doesn't refresh automatically you can actually press the cursor here and if you click on that refresh button it will actually refresh the dial and the preview here will actually change all right you can also go to edit all right uh, just similarly to you right click and go to edit all right so you do that is how you actually add a custom dial to firefox right for this and more helpful tips i'd ask you to subscribe to my um, channel we update regularly and also for any assistance you may add a comment below or you can go down into the description all the links are there you can go to my blog where i have a detailed guide to this with pictures all right okay youtube so go ahead i know you want to do it click that subscribe button thank you and good bye